Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle, welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new Blizzard Warfare P90 Blueprint. Uh, this is an amazing gun when you put the right attachments on it, however with this blueprint the attachments are kind of trash. Uh, it comes with the flash guard muzzle, the GI Mini Reflex, the FSS Heavy Stock Pro, the granulated grip tape for underbarrel and fully loaded perk. Um, honestly, I've tried this class setup out, it does not work all that well I think it's kind of garbage there's a few things I wanted to change add a few different attachments and uh, and make this thing an absolute beast so in this video I'm gonna share with you guys those attachments so that you guys can dominate with this new weapon uh, obviously we're using the p90 if you guys take a look in the bottom left our accuracy and our range are boosted significantly obviously the p90 has a very quick fire rate which can you know hinder our ability to shoot long distance and uh, and to have decent accuracy so I wanted that to be the number one focus when creating this class setup um, we're also boosting our mobility and our control a significant amount which are obviously two important attachments as well mobility being very important because we're using an SMG we're probably going to be really aggressive with this thing and, uh, and being able to move a little bit quicker is going to make this a little bit easier for us um, our fire rate obviously stays the same it's already extremely quick so we're not going to change that our damage is pretty good so we're not going to change that either and, uh, and yeah, so let's jump right into it. So we're not using a muzzle. Uh, we decided to take the muzzle off barrel. We're using the Forge Tack Retribution. I love this barrel. Um, I use this on a lot of my SMGs. You're going to get damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. You're losing a little bit of aim down sight speed as well as movement speed. You'll see our mobility drops off significantly with at this attachment. However, we are boosting our range and accuracy as well as our control a lot. So it is definitely worth it and uh, a really good attachment to use. We're throwing on attack laser. This did not come with the actual class setup with the blueprint. Uh, so we're throwing this one on, and I really enjoy this a lot, especially with a, an SMG like the P90. We're playing really aggressive. The laser isn't going to be that big of a deal. It would be if we were playing with an assault rifle and sitting back playing defensive because then people would easily be able to tell where we're at. But because we are rushing and playing aggressive with an SMG, uh, the laser isn't going to be that big of a deal. We're getting aim down sight, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. You'll see in the bottom that our accuracy our mobility and our control is all boosted are all boosted nothing is hurt by this the only downside is your laser is visible to enemies which we just talked about so a really good attachment to run with the p90 we're not going to change the optic with the smgs i tend to not run any optics but i don't really mind this one i think using a gi mini reflex on the p90 works really really well and gives you that ability to hit people from a further distance um, the iron sight is not all that bad For past call of duties i've never used the iron sight but on this one I've kind of enjoyed using it. We're going to lose a little bit of aim down sight speed, but you'll see that our accuracy is boosted. And uh, like I said, you'll be able to pick off people from uh, greater distances, which is always nice. The stock that we're using, we change. We're using the fly strap. Um, the reason I wanted to change to this one is so that we could get sprint to fire speed back up as a pro. We're also getting aim walk movement speed. Um, which is going to boost our mobility. Our accuracy is hurt a little bit. Our control is hurt a little bit. Um, but getting our mobility back up is uh, is a good thing to do, especially you know with with an SMG. We don't want to hurt our mobility too much. With some of these other attachments, our mobility was way way down. So we're kind of using this one to counter that and to give us that aim or that that sprint to fire speed, which is great to have. Um, obviously, with sprint to fire, we're going to be able to. Um, get into those gunfights and be able to win more of them because obviously aiming down sight and shooting is, is a very important factor in Call of Duty and being able to do that first, especially in this game, is uh, obviously going to help you win most of those gunfights. So we're not going to be using an underbarrel. Uh, last but not least, the rear grip we're using is stippled grip tape. If you watch my videos, I love this attachment so much. Uh, more sprint to fire speed, which is great to have, and aim down sight speed to cancel out uh, the other cons of aim down sight speed so that we don't lose any of that, um, boosting our mobility back up. So when you when you look at it in the long run, our mobility doesn't drop too much. With some of these attachments, uh, specifically the Forge Tack Retribution, our mobility is hurt significantly. Um, so by using some of these other attachments, we're able to get it back up and uh, and keep all our stats in the green in general. But this is the best class setup for the new P90 Blizzard Warfare Blueprint. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.